Hello, my name is James Manico. I'm from the island of Kauai in the Hawaiian chain. I'm both as a nonprofit uh, professional, I'm one of the board members of the OWASP Foundation, that's the Open Web Application Security Project. I'm also the Vice President of Security Architecture for a web security firm called White Hat Security out of Santa Clara, California. And one of my uh, passions, one of my roles within both OWASP and at my company is uh, I'm a secure coding educator. So I teach developers to build more secure web applications. Some of the main risks that we worry about are risks like SQL injection. When developers build a web application, web applications are really just glorified database applications. So one of the most important aspects to how developers code an application, a web application, is writing SQL that talk to the database. They'll select data from the database, they'll update the database or insert new data into the database and developers use the SQL language to do this. Now the problem is is when a uh, attacker types his name in, and he types his password in and, and that piece of data is added to a database query. The attacker can now make his name something like single quote semicolon or single quote semicolon shut down semicolon and per change the structure of what that data query, database query should have been. They change the structure of what that database query should have been. And this is a big problem. This is again called SQL injection. The way you fix this is through a computer programming technique and that technique is called query parameterization. It's geeky, but it's critical. And the hard part is, is that no magic box is gonna fix this. No magic tool or technique is gonna fix this. Some tools and services will detect this problem, but to fix it, we really need the developer to write code differently. And so this is a big change in the era of security. If we go back like five years ago, the security professionals that were on the front line, that were in charge of defending our networks and organizations were network security professionals, patching um, firewall ACLs and building a good, robust, secure network infrastructure, keeping all of your router and network equipment up to date. These were the main roles of network security professionals. But now attackers have changed tune. They're not just attacking the network anymore, they're attacking the soft center, your custom web applications. And so all of a sudden, we need programmers to care about security. This is one of the biggest paradigm changes that we've seen in information security in many years. Other techniques that we teach developers are things like input validation, input sanitization, so we limit what data the user can submit to a system. Suppose we have a US social security field and we're gonna enter in the social security number of that user. That would be a nine digit number. So if the user submitted to my application anything other than that nine digit number, I would reject that input because it didn't fit my rules of what good data is. This is called positive input validation, whitelist input validation, another important technique. Other techniques we talk about are things like how to store a password in a cryptographically secure way, how to stop cross-site scripting through proper output encoding and data sanitization techniques, how to do good permission-based access control that's verifiable and auditable and good security policies, different authentication techniques like um, se idle session timeout and absolute session timeout and flagging your cookies secure and HTTP only. These esoteric techniques are now some of the critical aspects of the front line of your corporation. And if you're not willing to teach developers these techniques, it's game over. Because there's no product, no service that magically fixes this. We need knowledge. We need developers to write more secure code. Thank you so much, everyone.